I live in British Columbia, Canada. So if you receive a letter in the mail and it was posted in Australia, you might wonder if I actually sent it. And that's why we have SPF for email. Let's talk about that. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 286 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build and maintain them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term, or just to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen, and let's talk about SPF. It's not the sun protection factor. It is sender policy framework. Now, basically, SPF, as we can read here on Wikipedia, is an email authent authentication method that ensures the sending mail server is authorized to originate mail from the email sender's domain. So it's a record in your domain's zones that says to the world, hey, if you get an email that says it's coming from this domain, only these places and computers and IPs are allowed to send email. If it comes from anywhere else, do something else. And we'll see what that do something else is. Now, uh, if you want to uh, check out the implementation, there's some more information further on down the page and you can check out all about the different settings. But I just wanna show you some of the practical things right now that you can use to uh, make sure you're using SPF and to set it up for your domain. All right, MX lookup tool. Now, if you go to mxtoolbox.com, the easiest way to get to the SPF testing tool is to uh, go to test your domain using their MX lookup. All right. You'll get information about that. But then in the next report, just click down to SPF record lookup and check it out. Now, cybersalt.net, one of my domains, has no SPF record because I deleted it for this video. So there is no record. Let's make one. MX Toolbox has a handy dandy tool for making an SPF record. And what you do start out by putting your domain in there, cybersalt.net. And we will check. It sees that there is none, but now you can make one. And there's some questions that you'll be asked to help you put together this text record. So do you send email from your web server, the computer that your website is hosted on? Yes or no? Now you might be using another service to send mail out and that's the only one sending out mail like, uh, like Google Mail or Microsoft Office or some other service. But if you actually do send mail out through your mail server and you're hosting, you wanna say yes to this. Now, do you send mail from the same server in your MX records? Now, an MX record is a mail exchange record. And basically, it's where you say, here is the uh, company or the place, the server that manages my incoming mail and deals with it. So in the real world, with the snail mail, you have a national postal service, but you probably have some other companies too that are courier companies. And you might say, hey, any mail that anyone that sends mail to me, it should go to this courier. I don't deal with the national post office, right? So that's where you would say yes or no. And so do you send, are the MX records the same as your web server where your site is hosted? In this case, the answer for me is yes. Now, any other server host name or domain that delivers email for your program. So you might have a bulk emailer that's sending out newsletters for you. You would put information in there. I don't have that. Next, you want to put in the IP for your domain. Now, if you're an IP version four, you put your uh, IP there. Or if you're using a version six there, I have a version four. And we're gonna paste that in there. And then finally down here, are there any third party systems that may deliver emails for your domain and usually provide it by the sending system? For instance, Google. And I'll show you one of my domain zones, an SPF record that is more complex than the one we're setting up right now. So we'll just leave that blank in this case. Now, how strict should the SPF policy be? So basically, if an email is received by a company out there and it's not coming from one of the approved sources in your SPF record, what do you want them to do? Strict is just reject the mail, do nothing with it. Neutral is just basically like the same as having 
no SPF record. So it just says, hey, yeah, go ahead, accept whatever you get, even if it doesn't match this. And with soft fail, something will be added to the email notice, notifying it was a soft fail, but it will probably still get delivered. Once you have picked what you're going to do, I'm going to say strict in this case, just go down to finalize record and you will get the information that you need for setting up a zone. Now, let me show you how to set up a zone in Cloudflare. And then I have an example of how you could set up a zone in your web hosting account. And I'll use cPanel as an example. So here we have this record here, text, cybersalt.net, and the information that we need to put into here, it's all calculated for us. We go over to Cloudflare, and then you want to go log into the particular account where you have your domain. And then going through Cloudflare, and go down to DNS. And the handy dandy thing here in Cloudflare is that you will see that they also have an SPF uh, record wizard which you could use and you get asked some of the same questions but what I'm going to do is go to uh, records and I'm just going to go add record and the type that we're adding is a text record and the name we can get from our generator cybersalt.net and then We'll go back here and we will get the value for this record, all right? And we're going to paste that into here and that's all we have to do. Now it's short and sweet, but that's what we, that's what we need to do. We go save and now if we go back to our SPF record lookup and run, we can check and we're all green, we have that record. So we've set up an SPF record in Cloudflare. Now let's look at how to do this uh, in a web hosting account using cPanel as an example. Let's do it for this domain here, democorner.com, one of my other domains, and we're going to check. Okay, there's nothing there. And basically, do you send it from your email server? Yes. Do you send email from the same server in your MX records? Yes. What is the IP for that? Well, I don't have that right here to paste, but if I look at my web hosting account, there is the IP, the shared IP. All right, so we will go back to here and say yes. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong place. Uh, I will say yes. This, again, this is a very plain one. Strict, yeah, let's make it how strict should it be. We'll finalize the record and then we get our uh, values here. We'll copy that. So now in a cPanel web hosting account or in your web hosting account, go to where your zones are. Here is domains and zone editor. And up here, we're going to go in to manage and I'm going to add a record. Now I can add a record and I need to give it a type. So watch first the name. Well, that's going to be democorner.com. And it's a text record we want to add. And now we need to put the value in there. And we get that again from here. Oh, I think I already have that copied. And we paste it there. And we will go save record. And now we have a, an SPF record for that domain. And we can go back to and check. .com and check and yeah, there it is. Now, for an example of a more complex SPF record, let me just show you the one for cybersalt.com. Here we are already in the zones, and we will go down and find the SPF right here. And if I go edit, you will see that for mail, email that's going out from uh, cybersalt.com, I send mail out through the mail server on my hosting, but the mailbox exchange that collects mail and then divvies it out to wherever it should go is Google. But I also have some other services here that I use that manage mail or will send out mail on behalf of me as well. And so that's all being set up. So you might have a more complex one. You get what you need to add to your zones, but it's well worth the effort to add an SPF record for your domain because more and more email companies will not accept mail unless an SPF record has been set up properly by the sending email domain. And also when spammers are looking for domains that they can use to send out phishing emails, 
If they see that you have an SPF record set up for your domain, they're less likely to bother to use your domain because it's set up properly and they'll just be wasting their time. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.